I'm finished. Why don't you tell me what you're doing? So, I told you, I'm conducting business. Okay. Constitutionally protected business that you, 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 and you swore to protect under God and your fellow men. We have to ID you. Okay. Under, under what? Just because we have to know who you are. No, no, you don't. So the law states if I'm not committing a felony or a misdemeanor, I don't have to identify. You work for the, the police department, so you work for the government. You'll be creating a, a pup, uh, public document I'm that asking, I'll be able to I'm record request. You, you can take a picture of me, but it will be a public record. What's up, CT3 fam? Welcome back to my channel where we highlight three clips and I'll recap with a few educational corners to ensure your rights are not violated on your next encounter with the cop. My name is CT3 and I have a passion for police accountability and our constitutional rights. And I'm sure you feel the same. As you can see on your screen, that's my new channel, CT3 Live. We're so close to hitting 1,000 subscribers. If you can, go ahead and subscribe so you can support me on my next live audit. You don't want to miss it. Now with that said, the channels being featured today are Good Guy Audits, Jake Moss and Caveman's Cam Dub. Make sure you head over to their channels and show them some love because without them, there's no CT3. And if you can, go ahead and gently smash that like button before the video even starts so this video will spread and help put an end to police misconduct and educate the uneducated. So let's get right into it. Look, officers. Close. What does that say? Go Fiera? Chocolate. What is he doing? There is a little short train. What is he doing over there? 17934. Look at that face. Look at that. That's the cars that they use to clean the machines. Please don't touch me, thank you. You can't, you, you, you want to go off the station. Sir. Sir. That's recording and yeah, employee. From the booth. Can I get your name and badge number? Yeah, Officer Cedar Insurance 556. In the car. In the car. Can I get your name and badge number? Nice to meet you. Can I get your car since you touched me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Thank you. Can I get your address too? Thank you. What was you saying? Right, you, you Move away from the booth. Why? Stop. He doesn't because want to the station. He doesn't want me in the station? Yeah, he doesn't want you recording. Is this a private station or? It's a private station. I'm sorry? So either, what if yeah, I was either, taking the train? You can take the train, but you can't record in here. Of like course that. I could. There's right? case law on it. No, right? So what, what crime is it? From the train station or paying? Sir, what crime is it? You're recording. It's trespassing. He's telling you he wants you out. It's, it's, it's trespassing, trespassing to record in public? He's trespassing. You're recording here. Either you take the train or. You know what the First Amendment is? You record. You want to record? That's fine. You know photography's not a crime, right? Okay. So, you know, photography is not a crime, right? Are you gonna leave? I'm not gonna believe your lies. Okay, are you gonna leave? Or are you gonna I'm conducting take the train? business right now. All right, yeah. Are you taking the train? You know what business is, right? Are you taking the train or no? I don't answer questions, but you know what business is, right? Or no? You know what official are business is? Are you taking the train? You know what official business is, right? Sir, you know what all somebody... we're asking you is to back away from that boot because he does not feel comfortable with you videotaping him. Oh, okay. You enforce so, fitness or you enforce law? Am I breaking please the law? Move, out, move away from the I'm okay. I'm, I'm doing something. Tell you I'm conducting business. No. It's my business. If I'm not breaking the law, well, right then now really is, is this a consensual conversation? What? Is this consensual? Um, any consent at all? Is, is no, this need, consensual? Do I need consent at all? Am I being detained? No, you're, you're not being detained. Okay, so have a good day. Is right. you're being ejected from, from the train the station? From a public place. Are you going to be, are you taking the train? I'm conducting business right now. I might take the train, yeah. Okay, well, right now. That's a now, possibibility. Okay, so I, I can, can take I, the, 
I can take the can train, talk, right? Can I talk? No, I'm okay. Cause, okay, because because I didn't even want to talk to you. You right, said I'm not so detained, so you have to, you have to leave the train a, station or take the train. Okay. Okay. Right. Which one are you gonna do right now? Is this public? Right now, he's the public control. space, he right? Wants you out from the train station or go upstairs and take the train. Why? Because is am I committing a crime? Right now, you, he doesn't want you here. You're, you're, video came, you're videotaping him, all right? It's called the First Amendment. You okay. know what the First Amendment right. is, right? So you swore to protect what, it, remember? What, you, what, what are you going to do? You remember you, you guys swore to protect our rights, right? The Constitution? You know I'm not committing a crime. So why are you guys trying to bully me out of a public place? He clearly doesn't want you videotaping him. You just spoke about his feelings. What? I don't like him because he's light-skinned. Can you do something about it? No, we can't do anything But that's the way I feel. It. All right, then. So All right, then. He doesn't like get what on if the I was, train or exit the what station. What if I was praying? Praying? And Wait, he didn't like that I was praying. You want to tell you me to stop pray, praying? All right, then. You can, All right, then. You, can record him. you know why I could pray? Because it's protected. You know why I could pray, right? Because it's protected. This is protected. Right. So right? You, you understand that you, by causing annoyance and alarm to this guy here, you're annoyance harassing him, right? This isn't a you crime. You understand, you're Photog harassing him. But that is considered harassment. Photography is not a crime, so. Right, so I'm glad you me know what you think the law is. Me just standing here taking pictures? I'm explaining to you what the law is, right? Me just... In the penal law, harassment okay, is to ahead. cause annoyance and alarm what? to an individual. <laughs> By recording, you are causing annoyance and alarm to this individual here who works here, in his workplace establishment. You are violating, obviously, your So basically... Violation. So you could be ejected from the station. Let me, let me get this right. Basically, what you're saying... Uh, there's no basically... There's, I just explained to you. That's what you said. Photography, photography is a of crime. an individual where it causes annoyance and alarm is a crime. It's harassment. Photography will never be a crime. It's a protected activity right. under the First I'm, Amendment I'm, I'm, that you swore to protect. Know, but it's harassment. Right? Harassment. What if I was praying and he didn't like that I was praying? You want to tell me, yo, you can't, you got to leave a public place in work, in a, because he feels MCM's uncomfortable that you're praying because I don't have the same religion? You understand what I'm trying to say? Right. So it's a protected activity. What are you proving to us right now? What I told you, you I'm conducting business. I'm Look, doing a story. You're recording us, right? You want to yeah, be funny. You, you want to make a video. I, what are you proving to us? You think, us? think the Constitution what is funny? You, you think violating my rights is funny? What are you proving to us right now? I'm asking. Uh, no, no, so, no, I'm asking you. Uh, this is not I told a Q&A, my friend. I told you. I'm telling you, what are you proving to us right now? You're sitting here recording the MTA worker in the booth. Listen to me. Go ahead, you I speak and then you I'll let you speak and then I'll speak, okay? I'm respectfully speaking to you. Go ahead. My colleagues here have been respectfully speaking to you. You're not if listening you say to so. us. Go ahead, speak. Right. What, what business do you have sitting here bothering this individual by harassing him, recording him while he's here at work? What are you doing? You're just sitting here recording for over a minute. You're sitting here recording this individual. What is your gain from that? What are you gaining from this instance right here? Then you can't just politely either walk away or go do this business elsewhere. We asked you nicely multiple times. We explained to you, you did cause annoyance and alarm to this individual in here. We explained to you what business, what problem you're causing here with us. Why can't you just respectfully walk away? We're, we're giving you an opportunity to respectfully walk away. I, I don't understand what you, you clearly can't explain to me. Why? Why can't you just walk away? Seriously, I'm asking you very politely. I'm waiting for you to finish so I can answer your question. I'm finished. Why don't you tell me what you So, I told you, I'm conducting business. Okay. Constitutionally protected business that you, 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 and you swore to protect under God and your fellow men. Swore to uphold the Constitution, remember? Right. You did, right? So, so if I'm in, I'm in public, right? I'm checking up on my government workers, which I have a constitutional right to do in public, from public, right? So I don't see what the problem is. I asked you if I'm being detained, you said no. I asked you if I'm committing a crime, you said no. Right? No, you, you, you don't, but you don't get it? You know that photography will never be a crime? This is not a crime. And what you're doing while you're videotaping is causing alarm and annoyance. You don't enforce his feelings. You enforce the law. I have a right to check up on my government workers in the course of their duties. You know that, right? Then, so let me rock. If, if I'm not... If, how? Because his feelings? Do you, do an investigation. Do you see me causing alarm? Yeah. Do you see me cursing him out, or do you he, see me just simply recording? To me right over there that he is and I told you I don't like him because I don't like him because he has a bald spot. You want to help me? You want to ask him to leave? All right then. But that's the way I feel. That's the way he feels. You want to record? Fine, I didn't say. But just first don't of all, record. don't record right first up First of all, just I didn't say anything space. to him. I'm standing here in public filming whatever I can see from public. Right, but it's your so actions. how's my actions? actions as well. that is I'm simply standing here peacefully right, recording. I didn't say nothing to him. So it doesn't matter how he feels. He cannot like me because I'm black. You want to ask me to leave the station? 
Oh, he doesn't like it. But that's not skin. the incident. That's not the incident. It's my at right, hand. though. The incident. I'm this exercising is the incident my rights peacefully, hand. sir. I'm exercising my rights peacefully. Right. That's the wrong bottom line. I didn't say nothing to him. I'm peacefully asking you, why can't you just do the self? Are you right? done with your documentation and business? Like, are you well, done you guys, finished? you guys you became get, my business now right because now? you're trying to violate oh. my rights when clearly I'm not doing that wrong. Violating your rights. All right then. So what's where's the crime at? Explain everything outside if you want. Okay, if I wanted to get on the train, I could get on the train, right? If I wanted to buy, if I wanted to buy something from the store, I could buy something from the store, right? This is a, all right. So I'm gonna do that on my time. This is public. I have a right to be here, do I not? I don't have a right to be here. You know, there's nothing wrong. There's nothing going on. But you see a citizen exercising their rights, and you just gotta say something. I don't, I don't get that. I don't get that. If I'm not committing a crime, I'm not doing anything wrong. Leave me alone. I'm in public. You understand? You swore to protect my rights, all of you. So what's the problem? That's the point. That's why I record in public. That's why I record my government officials. To see if y'all know our rights and see if you respect my rights. Because you swore to protect my rights, you understand? I'm not committing a crime. You just said I'm not being detained. I'm in public. You understand? There's nothing wrong with me recording my government officials. It's our duty as American citizens to check up on our government workers. Right? You know we can record you guys. That. All right, so what's, so what's the problem? So what's the problem? Is this the issue is that you're doing it up the step, I'm not impeding back. business. If somebody wants to come conduct business, they can. No, I'm you're not impeding saying, business. I'm saying you can record. That's fine. That's course. it, period. But I'm period. saying, but I'm, period. No, I can no, record, no. period. There's something called safety. He doesn't feel safe. He's behind a six-inch bulletproof safe. glass. He doesn't feel safe. Because so he's ignorant were, to my rights. Why don't you still record from right here? So he doesn't, you're not up to the Just don't block him. I'm not blocking this. I'm not impeding business. I'm not going anywhere I'm not supposed to be. I'm standing in a publicly accessible area, exercising my rights peacefully. That's it, okay? Are you happy with that? That's it. Yeah, I just, I want you guys to remember the oath because your main, the main part of your job is to uphold the Constitution of America, which is the highest law of the land. Not enforce people's feelings. Instead of instead of trying to kick me out of a public place, you educate him like, sir, you work for the government. The citizens have the right to record you in the course of your duties. Educate him on the First Amendment. Simple. I can't listen. I can't control how he feels. I can't. All right then. So why are you trying to kick me out of a public place? I'm not. Right there. You're fine. Then you're good. Okay. We're done. Have a good day. No, but like honestly, bro. Respect your respect the oath that you took, bro. You're not a gang. You swore to protect my life. That's a walk of shame right there. Look like, at your oath. Can I get a map, please? Thank you. There's nothing wrong with me taking pictures, okay? You work for the government. The First Amendment to the United States Constitution guarantees freedom of speech, freedom of press, freedom of religion freedom of assembly, and freedom to petition the government for a redress of grievances. These rights are essential to a free and democratic society. And Good Guy Audit proves in this clip why it's so important to know how to exercise those rights. These cops came up demanding that Good Guy Audits leave immediately, stop recording, you gotta go, you're trespassed, you can't be here, you're harassing. And what happened by the end of the clip? They were acknowledging that yes, he does have the right to film only for one simple reason, that they know they're fighting an uphill battle once they're put on notice that they are violating a citizen's rights. If you haven't yet, make sure you go subscribe to Good Guy Artists, support him in any way you can. He's out here fighting for our rights and he's doing a great job at it. Let's continue. Appreciate that. And it's nothing further than we just stop and let you know that you guys have to have a solicitation permit. Yes, yeah, so, hold township. on, hold on. Before we answer any questions, let me inform you. We're not soliciting. All right. Okay. I have an address book right here. Okay. Individuals have what we go to their houses for. There's a message sent out to each one of these individuals. However, people do change apartments. Okay. So if I knock on the door, uh -huh. I'm looking for an individual. Okay. And a new person's so moved in there. So it's by appointment where we okay. go for it. That's totally so, different. Exactly. So okay. most individuals, they may have moved, but okay. there could be individuals that move and they look at, they do like, okay, these guys are in full uniform. They're doing something. They got to be doing something. But reality, I'm here for Barber. So that's good. That's all that. That's all that is. All we right, get that all so, the time. Okay. Um, so we have to ID you. Okay. Under, under what? Just because we have to know who you are. No, no, you don't. So the law states if I'm not committing a felony or a misdemeanor, I don't have to identify. That's exactly what the law states. 
um, you have no reasonable, articulable suspicion that I've committed a crime, have committed a crime, or I'm about to commit a crime. I told you what what's going on already. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? You know? It's cold, man. Hey, I was going to say, you look as cold as me. Bro, for real. Did cool. you give them the... Uh, so we don't, if that's a, we don't, yeah, we don't need that. That's for soliciting. Um, as I explained to him, I'm explaining to you, we're not soliciting. We have appointments. We have address book. We have appointment with individuals. And okay. what's happening is they could take it as we are selling something, but we're really there for somebody that could live in that house and they just probably moved in. So uh, obviously we don't pick and choose who calls us. If we get a call later, you can take it, not take it. If we get a call later, no, you guys are uh, clean sky energy. Yeah. So okay. we're, we're by appointment right now with individuals. Great. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense to me. But we'll right, take it. Try to yeah. stay warm. Yes, All sir. Right. You, you guys have a good one. Y'all too. You said that where we still listen, and I asked you, Officer Powers. Powers. What's your badge number? 2316. Miss Lady, what's your badge number? 2310. You're really going to go this route? Okay, I'm just asking you. I didn't, I, you asked me where I soliciting. And I asked you a and simple question. And I told question, you I don't answer questions. And all I was going to do is tell you if you're soliciting for business for uh -huh. spring power and gas. I'm not soliciting anything. Are you going door to door? I have addresses. I have addresses. I have addresses. I'm not soliciting anything. You going door to door is solicitation. It's not solicitation because I'm not selling anything. You're not I'm here to do. Okay, I'll give you this much. I'm doing follow-ups with people. You're soliciting right, for well, business. Well, investigate it. Go ask individuals what I was at their door for. You're soliciting for business, I'm not sir. soliciting anything and stuff. You're insinuating. You don't know me from a can of paint. And I'm asking you what you're doing. Okay. I'm going to ask you this one more time. Before I'm I give you my driver's license, like you instructed me to do. Uh, okay, here's the deal. You're being detained for yes. a potential ordinance violation. Potential? Yes. Okay, so is that suspicious? I have reasonable suspicion to believe okay, you are. Okay, suspicion isn't a crime, sir. <laughs> okay. I tell you what. I'm not going to give you a lesson in the law here. I know okay, the law. But I'm, telling, I'm telling you right now, you know what reasonable suspicion is? Okay. Reasonable, articulate suspicion that I committed Correct. a crime, had committed a crime, or am committed a crime. Great, right. you, you know You suspect that. me of a crime. Of an ordinance violation. And I just told you I wasn't committing a crime. I told you I was there doing follow-ups with an individual that I'm supposed to be there for. Now, Which is solicitation. No, it's not solicitation. You don't know the context of my conversation. Okay. Are you you're going door to door. Right? I'm not going door to door. Do you have a solicitation permit? I don't. I'm not soliciting, so therefore I don't have to have one. I'm not selling nothing. We have a difference of opinion. Well, I'm just following the law. We have a difference of opinion. You man. don't know the law so well. Yeah, I do. Okay, so what's the solicitation law? It's an ordinance violation. Right. It's not a law. It's not a law. It is it's a, a law. violation. It's a law that you, it's, it's, a, it's a township violation. ordinance that right. you can be friggin' right. uh, cited for. What are we gonna you do? Because be I'm looking for, for a lawsuit. I'm good at them. As soon as I give you my name, you're going to see it. I do this a lot, man. Go ahead. All right. So, would you still like my ID? Yes, I would. Okay. Now, before I give you this, all right, before I give you my information, are you for sure you want to go down this route? Oh, my God. Yes or no? Because I'm not refusing it. What's that? I'm not refusing it. I'm going to give you my information. you're trying to intimidate me. I'm not intimidating I'm, you. You are. You're trying to intimidate me. And all I'm doing is trying to figure out... That. Figure out if you I got no weapon on me. I got no weapon on me. I was going to do was going to give you a verbal. I'm not intimidating you. I'm trying to intimidate you not to do I'm my job. I'm standing on law. You're trying to intimidate me not to do my job. I'm not trying to tell you how to do your job. I'm telling you right now that A, I wasn't soliciting. B, you wasn't there. You're investigating this or crime. If you weren't soliciting, what are you doing? All right, I don't. It's all man. If you get explained, I'm going to cut you loose, dude. All right, what do you mean, cut me loose? I'm going to walk away. You're being detained. All right, well, okay, so let me ask you this. Hey, hey. Before I give you my ID, I'm going to ask you what's going to happen if I don't give you my ID. Tell you what, you're not even worth it. You're not even worth the show. Thank you. You're not. Thank you. Have don't speak with them. Thank you. You have a good day. And I will be doing a complaint. Go ahead. I am. Once again, when you know your rights, you can shut down all the officer's unlawful demands. If you have an encounter with the cops and you know you haven't committed a crime, you do not have to follow their unlawful orders. They will order you to do this and that because that's how they're trained. Remember, they're also lawfully able to lie to you and tell you things that's not true to get you to do whatever they want you to do. Do you want to walk away from the counter feeling violated or would you rather walk away with your head high knowing you stood on your rights? That's an easy answer. No one wants to feel violated. But the only way to ensure that you're not is to learn your rights. I can't stress it enough. It's some of the simplest things you can learn, but some of the most important information that you need to be equipped with. And if you do find yourself in a situation with a law enforcement officer, don't forget to pull out your cell phone and record the encounter. Because the last thing you want to do is have to rely on the body-worn camera of the police officer because most of the time that footage goes missing. Your footage can be used as an official record if you ever need it for evidence in court. So trust me, it's better to have it than to not. Let's continue. Can I take a picture of you? You can. I can? I'm allowed to? 
You'll create a, you'll create a public document. What do you mean? You work for the, the police department, so you work for the government. You'll be creating a, a pub, uh, public document I'm that asking, I'll be able to I'm record request. You, you can take a picture of me, but it will be a public record, just to let you know. And I can request that, even if that's your personal phone. You understand that, right, Zelensky? Man, if you're going to go that far... Then I'm not going to go that far. If you want to take a picture with me, I'll take a picture with you, brother. Really? Yeah. I don't I don't care about having my picture taken, brother. Whenever whenever this is over though, I do want to talk with your uh He's new. Yeah, I know. I want to speak with him. Wow. Okay? Yeah. Are you finished here? Can I get your name and badge number? Jonathan? J jo Jonathan? J Arocho Z H four eighty four. Okay. I can I speak with you? Yes, sir. What's going on? Okay, I watched the body cam with you the other morning about um, where, where you were with Officer Redman and a homeless man was hit on a bike. No, that wasn't me. I don't recall that. I'm sure it was. Okay. It was February 2nd. Okay. You remember that? Sure. And um, you complained about the man not giving you an ID. Do you understand that it's not required by law if a person hasn't committed a crime that they they're not required by law to, to give you an ID? Okay. Um, you said that you're going to start being more stern with people about their ID and not IDing. Yes, sir. Okay. Do you remember that? Yes. Sir. Okay. Right. Thank you. Thank you. I love this clip because it shows one of the most important reasons we're out here recording our local law enforcement officers, and that is to educate. The first officer was educated that, no, you cannot take my picture unless you want to create a public record. And when you do so, now I can FOIA, which is the Freedom of Information Act, which allows citizens to obtain public records from our government officials. So that means if this was that cop's personal phone, we would be able to now request all the information that's on that phone, which could be pretty damaging and embarrassing for that officer. That's why why he thought twice about taking that picture and the second officer here which is the rookie just by having this conversation with caveman's cammed up is soaking into his rookie cop brain that you just can't go around asking everyone for their id without there being a crime committed so by this being a young officer he can go ahead and stop those tyrannical behaviors that he was trained to do and hopefully think about that conversation before he violates someone else's rights but that's going to do it for this video. Much love to these awesome creators. Again, make sure you use the links in the description to go check out their channels and show them some love. If you're not already, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you won't miss the next episode. And don't forget, we're just a little push away from 1,000 subscribers on my new channel, CT3 Live, so I can have your support on my next live audit. If you made it this far, thank you so much. You're the real CT3 fam. And without you, there's no CT3. Remember, if you can believe it, you can achieve it. And until next time. Peace.